QE story time. Huey, this is Officer Buckle and Gloria by Peggy Rathman, read with the permission of Scholastic Press. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in Napville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Natville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes, <laughs> they were snoring. Afterward, it was business as usual. Mrs. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle, but Mrs. Topple didn't hear him. Look, somebody has their laces open. Somebody got hit by a book. Then one day, Natville's police department bought a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. You're already laying down. And Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Look what Gloria's doing. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. She was. Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. Children's eyes popped. Good Gloria. Oh, you take a rest, Huey. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had discovered that morning. Never sit on a thumbtack where you might leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. The next day, good boy, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Natville School. Every letter had a drawing of Gloria on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawing showed a lot of imagination. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, You and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phone started ringing. Grade schools, high schools, and daycare centers were calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said. Our students want to hear your safety tips. And please, bring along that police dog. Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and listened. After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. Yummo! Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. Then one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during electrical storms, the students jumped to their feet and applauded. Oof, look at what Gloria's doing. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. Uh-oh, Huey, look at Gloria's face. Look, she's got like an uh-oh face, she knows. The next day, the principal of Napville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Topple. Well, how about Gloria? Could she come? Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely. Then she fell asleep. So did the audience. 
after Gloria left, Natville School had its biggest accident ever. It started with a puddle of banana pudding. Splat, splatter, sploosh. Everyone slid smack into Mrs. Topple, who screamed and let go of her hammer. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend, Claire. P.S. Don't worry, I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Safety tip 101, always stick with your buddy. What do you think? Good story? Sit. Give me your paw. Good boy. Good listening. Good boy. There's a couple things I want to point out about Officer Buckle and Gloria. First of all, the end papers, and that's a book nerd word for the first the front and last interior pages of a book. Now in many picture books, they have artwork that adds to the story. Now in this book, these are especially fun as they show Gloria demonstrating some of Officer Buckle's safety tips, including never bother a big dog while he's eating. We have never tilt your chair back on two legs. Never sit too close to the television. Never put anything in your nose. And buckle your seatbelt. Now these end papers could be one of the reasons this book has a round gold medal right on the front. That's the Caldecott Medal, which means librarians think it's a great book. Now the Caldecott Medal is awarded annually by the American Library Association to the artist of the most distinguished picture book, American picture book for children. So if you ever want a great list of great books to read, ask the librarians for our list of the Caldecott Honor Books and the Caldecott Medal winners. And I'll bet many of your favorites are already in there. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you soon at the library. Bye. And this book, sit. Gloria shows off some pretty good moves. Hey, Huey, how about if we show our friends one of your best moves, OK? Hold. Take. Good boy. That's my boy. You did.